What's up everybody? I am back with another video. Well, it's the weekend, so you know what that means. I am sourcing today. I wasn't planning on filming another video today, but I'll be honest with you, when life experience hands you such amazing material, you have to take advantage of it and you just have to go with it. Unfortunately, that material comes in the form of a fellow FBA reseller acting really badly in a thrift store. In a recent video, I discussed how you would want to interact with someone that was maybe being curious about what you were doing when you were going out sourcing. That video overlapped quite a bit into ways that we can interact with store personnel and store managers. I'll go ahead and I'll link that in the card above so that you can check it out. But today's experience actually reminded me that it wouldn't be a bad idea to discuss the ways that we should interact with each other when we encounter each other in the wild. So here's a scenario. I walk into one of my favorite local thrift stores and the first thing that I go after is the CDs. I go through there and I find about 10 or 15 CDs. Not too bad, nothing special. So when I'm done with the CDs, I go over to the books and I start scanning books. I find some winners. I'm starting to put some items in my cart and out of the corner of my eye, I see this guy. Now he's an Amazon FBA seller. I've met him before, I've seen him around. And while I was over in CDs, he was in the record section, going through records, looking them up and putting them in his cart. Now I already know how this is gonna go because to get to where I am, he had to walk past three other shelves of books. So this should be fun. Here's what he does. He stands right next to me, maybe a couple of inches away and just starts looking at books on the shelf, all of a sudden, he reaches across me to grab a book in front of me. Now here's the thing about me. Growing up, I was very timid, very non-confrontational, and very quiet. I'm gonna guess that I was saving it all for my adult life, because I have absolutely zero patience for that kind of BS. I'm unfortunately the kind of person where if you get in my space, I'm gonna get in yours. I personally find that if I see somebody and they're coming at me like that, I think that it's really effective to actually create a small bit of physical contact so that I could look at them and say, excuse me in a stern way. Now in this case, it worked absolutely perfectly because he understood that I was basically telling him to slow down. And thank goodness too, because in this particular situation, I'm not trying to get hassled by another reseller, but I'm also not trying to create an overt confrontation in a place that I actually depend on for my livelihood. And that's one of the things that you have to weigh. Now this doesn't happen very often, but it is going to happen from time to time. And it reminds me that in our community, we really are a mixed bag. Some of the kindest, most generous people that I have ever met in my entire life are resellers. But then there's also plenty of people in the community like this guy that want to be discouraging and lack a lot of abundant thinking in their life. Now after that, he did go his own way but I am reminded as well from looking at what he was doing after that, how important it is to be a good business partner for the store managers and the operators of the stores that we shop in. After he left the book section, he went back to records and what I observed was pretty much exactly what you don't want to do in a store. He was showing very little respect or regard for the merchandise. He was kind of just tossing it around and generally speaking, leaving it a mess. He was getting in the way of other customers and bumping into them, not really watching out, not showing any consideration for other customers. But the icing on the cake was that poor employee that came out with a cart of things to organize around him. When they pulled up with the cart, he didn't even wait for the cart to stop. He did not give them room to do their job and stock the shelves. He went right over to the cart and started rummaging through it basically putting it out of order from the way they had it and disorganizing it for the employee as they went back and forth to the shelves. So just remember that when you go to these stores or even when you go to libraries or used bookstores, the best thing that you can do for your business is be the type of a buyer that people want to sell to. We've already discussed relationships and how important it is to form them. So I'm not going to go into it any more than that, but these are the sort of things that could also form negative relationships. Whenever we go into stores that are not reseller friendly or whenever we go to libraries where they don't let you scan, all those things happen for a reason. Somebody behaved in a way that was inconsiderate or disruptive. Now when somebody acts that way, we should all take notice because that hurts all of us. 
But here's the question of the day. How often do you come across other sellers in your neck of the woods? And when you're in the stores and libraries, what are some of the things that you do to be seen in a positive way? In contrast, have you ever come across a reseller that was actually exhibiting really poor reseller behavior? And if so, what were some of the things that they were doing? Go ahead and put in your comments below. I can't wait to read some of this stuff. And that's all for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see me make more of them, please remember to share, like, and subscribe to support the channel. If you haven't liked this video yet, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and tap on that book bag right there. When you're in there, tap on the bell as well. That's going to set you up with those notifications so that you know when new videos drop. Until next time, let's go make some money.